Hey guys, so today I'm headed to the dentist's office, finally getting some work done that's long overdue. I gotta get a couple fillings, I gotta replace a bridge, um, you know, get a deep cleaning. The dentist is never really fun, but you gotta do it. I went to this little dental spot right near where I live. The people at the office were super cool, they did a great job. I have absolutely no complaints about the date. So after the dentist, I headed home because even though my mouth was sore and I was numb, I had a webinar to do. You know, I'm in the solar business and one of the things that I do is I help people learn the benefits of solar and why they should really start some type of side hustle because solar, y'all, it pays really well. This is how I get ready for my webinars. Some music, some vibes. Get in the peak state so you can really go out here and transfer the energy from myself and my belief in solar to the person on the webinar. So I'm excited. It's going to be a good call tonight, but this is the kind of what I do after hours. Like I have a nine to five where I work at an investment bank, but at night I work on my future. I work on my goals because the job ain't for me forever. It's temporary. It's a way to fuel and fund my dreams right now, right? You want to run an ad, you need money. You want to be able to um, hire staff to do things. You got that, that requires money. So one of the biggest mistakes I'll say I made early in entrepreneurship was I quit my job too soon. Now I had a great time and I'm a hustler, so I figured out ways to make money, but sometimes it was really stressful. So one of the things I would encourage new entrepreneurs to do is have a job, allow your job to pay your bills so you're not stressed out in your business. So you don't want to quit your business because you're desperate for money. Keep a job so you can have a steady income coming in, but that doesn't mean get comfortable and complacent. What that means is when you get off work, now is grind time. Now is time for you to put in the the, the hours of putting the reps to really get off the job forever. So. Y'all know I'm an advocate for entrepreneurship. You gotta have multiple streams of income because listen, a job alone, that just ain't it. I tell people all the time, one source of income is too close to none. So make sure you find yourself some type of side hustle that can make you six or seven figures. That's what solar is for me. So this is a little coffee shop that I like. They got the best empanadas. They got great coffee. They also have some good gelato, but I'm not really an ice cream person. So, you know, I tried it once or twice, but it was pretty good. No, you gotta watch it like tomorrow or something. Like when you- My cousin Gary came to town and you know, we were spending some time. He came to pick up some packages and then we went to lunch. He always rents these fast cars all the time because he's a, you know, speed junkie. We went to one of my favorite spots in the Fort Lauderdale area. It's called Kalu's. If you're ever in Fort Lauderdale, you like a vibe, you like a view, you like good food, definitely Google Kalu's, check it out. Um, and then let me know what you think about it in the comments after you visit it. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be doing these vlogs every single week so you could stay up to the time of what's going on. Now, they, Kalu's, They've got an extensive menu. They've got some great salads, some great entrees. The drinks are awesome. If you look behind me, that's the water. So usually there's yachts back there, but this right here was bomb. This is like a shrimp and cheese. I don't even know what to call it. Kevin had the lamb burger. I just had a solid. I mean, bust it. Boom. Solid guys. Go this way, go there. So today, we're doing a flashback. <laughs> um, flashback to LA. Um, LA, seven years ago when yeah, we was driving to LA. Yes. We should go to a flashback of a clip now. I couldn't I find a flashback of a clip to insert right there, but just use your imagination of a clip from seven years ago where me and Kevin was in another Mustang, you know, on the streets of Los Angeles. After we had some drinks, you know, we had something to eat. It was time to head back. But before we did that, we had to, you know, explore the streets a little bit take in the sights, take in the vibes, see what this car really was hitting for. I mean, the sound of the engine was super dope. I'm not really a person who speeds, Gary is, but if you don't know who he is, go check him out on Instagram, Helium Creative. I mean, he's one of the dopest videographers, I would say in the world, but definitely uh, one of the top two in the Bahamas. Um, he came back from LA and I mean, dominated the space when it comes to video and cinematography. Nice. We got a new screen. Solid. These cars have really come a, a long way. I mean, look at it. They've got uh, like digital avatars of the car while you're in the car. I, I'm not really a car person. I just want my Bentley Continental. That's, that's all I need. 
you know, it's always good to spend time with family. I, I'm always super happy when, you know, family comes from the Bahamas to visit and I get to spend some time and we get to explore where I live and do some of the things that I do um, typically by myself uh, with other people. What's up, y'all? So I don't know where you live or where you're watching this vlog from, but down here in Florida, it's so hot. I had to make a popsicle. We call these cup in the Bahamas. I don't know what you call it where you're from, but it's just like frozen. Usually it used to be Kool-Aid, but I don't drink Kool-Aid anymore. So this is frozen grape juice, but it's still pretty good. Feels like it's 110 degrees. It's ridiculous. Music, this is his time. You know, he loves his walks. I mean, the, the grass needs to cut again. Every time I look at the grass, they need to cut. Come on, y'all, my building gotta do better. They need to cut this grass, bro. It's been raining so much, the grass grows so fast. Look at my baby. Look at my boy. Isn't he cute? The cutest little thing ever. So your girl feeling lazy today. Ordered pizza today. Went to the old faithful Domino's. I haven't had Domino's in forever. I usually get like local mom and pop pizza joints, but let me see what Domino's hitting for. This is their New York style. Very basic, just pepperoni and mushrooms. Still kind of hot, but I might throw it back in the oven. Lazy day, I don't feel like cooking, so I'ma just do this. Domino's and water for the win. The pizza was actually pretty good. I haven't had Domino's in yeah, so long, but this kind of was like, more like a mom and pop joint. The next day, I had to go to get an oil change. Um, so I just went by a drive through oil change place. I don't have a lot of time. I'm not gonna be sitting up in a mechanic shop for hours. So I just went to the drive through I was in and out of there in 35 minutes. One of the things I love most about this particular place though, is guess what? You get a free car wash with every oil change. Call me frugal, call me cheap. I don't care what you call me, but I'm gonna keep my coins in my pocket and always be looking for a deal or looking for the bargain. The, the Jeep came out, you know, squeaky clean. All I got to do after that is put some Amaral in the tires and I'm good to go. This is a little Asian spot I like. It's called Lemongrass Asian Bistro. They've got a great ginger salad. This is what I'm having here. Lemongrass Bistro, this particular one, they're all over, but this particular one is in Boca Raton. Check them out if you're ever in the area. Um, they've got a, uh, some great lunch specials. And guys, I want y'all, I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek of something that I'm going to be doing, a new type of, uh, of content. I'm going to be doing a series called Good Eats on a Budget, where I'm going to be showing you where you can get the food that's top tier, you know, <laughs> kind of like Michelin star chef vibes and, and, and quality uh, for, for, for on a deal all the time. I'm going to tell you the spots you can go, what days to go, where to go how you can start you know saving them coins as you can see they were so heavy-handed on the dressing but the dressing i mean it's you know what my friend kk would say it is top tip top chef's kiss so here's what i gotta do today my daddy put me on a mission i gotta send some Huge panels to the Bahamas for him. I don't have a truck, so I had to rent a U-Haul full of van, and then we gotta go on a mission to get these stuff shipped. This is the life of being a Floridian, man. Of the hitting in New York. So the crew came to visit because we are heading to hey, Orlando girl. for the yeah, premiere kind of air Come show. Out, I think right this is my third or fourth year going with KK so Venus so and so Rico. It's always a good time when we're together. MJ came on the trip. Look at him. He loves his grandma. Look at him. He just came in my arms and just fell straight to sleep. You know, Stefan was on this trip as well. You know, we were going to hit the road a little later, taking the bright line. But before that, y'all know what we got to do. Food and drinks. So what we decided to do. Hold on, let me get Stefan. You were supposed to tell us, number one. Shut your mouth. <laughs> so guys, we're headed to Las Olas. You know, we decided to stop to Rocco's Tacos. I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't our first choice, but everywhere else, it was a Friday evening, everywhere was so packed. So we decided to come here. 
I don't know if I'm too happy we went because the food was kind of like, eh, you know, mediocre. Usually Rocco's Tacos is pretty good for vibes and music and, you know, just somewhere that's high energy. But the food today was kind of mediocre. But, you know, we were just kind of uh, chilling until time for our train on the bright line. We had MJ in the building. He wasn't supposed to be there. So KK has her in a lot, but he kept whining and making noise. So I was like, MJ is going to get us put out of this restaurant. But y'all know how people are. They love animals more than they love humans. So it was not a problem. You know, he was able to stay. He was able to chill. And then, guys, he actually was the star of the show. Everyone who noticed that he was there, I mean, fell in love instantly. Let me show y'all what's happening. Look at the people behind us. Watch when they notice that MJ is with us. Check this out. Look, look, look. MJ. Look now. Say hi to the ladies, MJ. MJ. MJ, say hi to the ladies. Oh my God. <laughs> As you can see, you know, he was getting rubs and pet and, you know, everyone was so amazed that he had on his little polo shirt, his little button down. See, the lady called him a celebrity. Oh, I'm going to be a star, bro. I'm trying to be a YouTuber video. So after we were done eating, we headed to Brightline. Uh, we're taking the train from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando. So this is my first time at the Brightline, but it really surpassed all of my expectations it was a beautiful new building the parking was easy the train station was close was, was was easy to find um and you know it was just a pretty good experience i would recommend you know groups of friends take the bright line i'm always the driver when we're going to orlando so i was happy to just be able to sit and chill and just be chauffeured the parking rate at the bright line is about 15 dollars a day but if you prepay um it's 10 dollars if you do it through the app beforehand so that's what i did so i was able to sa save a couple dollars because we were going from friday i was coming back sunday the crew was coming back on monday but they were driving back down but let's talk about the station y'all i mean when i tell you it was pristine it was so clean it was so nice it, it just made you feel like you were going on a you know on a staycation if you don't know about the bright line you can check out their website it's globebrightline.com and it goes from miami downtown miami all the way to uh the airport in Orlando and it has stops in Fort Lauderdale. It has stops in Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, West Palm Beach, and then Orlando. We arrived about an hour ahead of time and we were early. Like you can literally get there 20 minutes before but you know, make sure you have time to get through security. It's not strict at all. So we're at the Brightline station and it's really, really, really nice. It's like an elevated train experience. Uh, actually surpassed my expectations. It's really dope. Security was really easy to get through. Um, and then they've got this little snack shop and then they also have a bar over there where you can get some drinks before your train. So we got about an hour before our train leaves. So I'm sure we're gonna have some drinks. Bogey, what you think about the Brightline? Great, first time doing it. But I'm not gonna love it. Boom, y'all already see the vibes. Check out Brightline, y'all. Try it. Go to Miami, go to Orlando, go to Palm Beach. Check it out. Brightline, y'all should pay me for this plug. KK, what's your thought about the Brightline so far? Pretty cool. What's your favorite thing up to this point? I don't have a favorite thing up to this point. Of the station. It's nice. Like, I like the waiting area. It's like really nice. I think you can let MJ out. They didn't get over now. Venus, what's your first thoughts about the station? The building is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's nice and cozy. Look, we have chargers to charge your phone. We have reading lights. We have comfy seating. And I'm here with Miserable Genie. Rico, what's your thoughts? Even though you've done the bright line a million it's times. It's how I normally travel. <laughs> but there's no other way. <laughs> is there other way? It's a bright line or nothing. No. <laughs> so as you can tell, everyone loved it. The bar was fully stocked. I mean, they had everything. So I'm here at the Bright Line Bar. There's a vibe, it's called Mary Mary. You gotta come check it out while you're waiting on your train. Come get a drink. 
So if you don't know what the premier hair show is, it's like one of the biggest hair shows in the country where, you know, stylists and people in the beauty industry go to get new techniques, get products, get product demonstrations. I'm not into beauty or any of that stuff, but KK, Rico and Venus, they all are. So one of the things about staying at the top of your game in your industry is continuous learning. And that's one of the things I got to give it up to them for is that they make it a point to be at that show every single year. And I'm Chillin'. They're filming TikToks. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. I am the lioness. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know, pure vibes. So our train boarded, um, it boards about 10 minutes before the train arrives. So you got to be on point because one thing that I can say is when the train gets on and they start uh, letting you on, you got five minutes to be on that train or else you are getting left. And one thing I can tell about Brightline is they play no games of trying to be on time. If you're someone who misses flights, you miss your transportation, you want to make sure that you are on time or better yet be early so you're not stressed out trying to get on the train. So we've decided to book, you know, a, a table. The way the Brightline seats are, it's like two on each side, kind of like a plane, but they've got a couple that's groups of four, which is pretty cool for groups or families traveling. So we got one of those um, and I was sitting right next to them. So we're en route to Orlando right now and we just arrived in Palm Beach and they're saying like we're going to be holding at the station. I don't know what that means. They don't know for how long. I hope this turned turn into a Bahamas Air vibe. All right, into that. You just get one money. I know. She get two refund now. She's their friend again. I am. You're you're back to being a Bahamas Air advocate. Yes, honey. Tastes too good. Who the person name? Who the person who emailed you? You must. You must make that the premier form of travel. Oh my God. Okay. Two premier. 